Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Here We Go Math Grade 4 Module 1 Lesson 9 Homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Round to the nearest thousand. Alright, so now we don't have a number line, but let's try. So A, 6,842. Now we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So this would run up to 7,000 because our middle point kind of would be 6,500 and beyond that would go to 7,000. And B, we have 2,722. So this is over 2,500. So then this number, we would round it up to 3,000. And C, 16,051, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So we're rounding this to 16,000 because the hundreds place doesn't go over 500. And D, 706,421. Let's round this down to 706,000 because 421 is not over 500. So how do we find our answer for part D? Well, 706,421 is under 6,500 and that this number is kind of the midpoint so if it's under that we round down if it's this number or over that then we round up so we round it down number two round to the nearest 10,000 so 10,000 would be this place so let's see, 888,999, we're around up to 90,000 because the 8,000 here is greater than 5,000. And B, 85,001, so our midpoint would be 85,000, but since it's just one over, it would round up to 90,000. And C, 789,091, so the nearest 10,000 we would round this up to 790,000. Um, and D, 905,154. Um, we would round this up to 910,000. And that is because we have 5,000 here, which is kind of the midpoint and it's greater than that. So we would round it up. So now explain why two problems have the same answer. So A and B, write another number that has the same answer when rounds in the nearest 10,000. Well, why do they have the same answer? Well, you can round down or up, but in this case, um, one number rounded with both number round up, actually. So we can change that to both numbers rounded up and got 90,000. So there's more than just one number in the world that rounds to 90,000 if round to the nearest 10,000 and both just round up um, and got 90,000 because they had the same, because they all passed the mid, they both passed the midpoint and they um, reached to 90,000. So another number that could do it, well, it's basically any number um, that is pretty much greater than eight, um, 85,000 since that's the midpoint and kind of under 90,000-ish, pretty much. 90,000. So one number we could do to 87,000 and make over 999. So this number would round up to 90,000. So that's an example. Number three, round to the nearest 100,000. So A, we have 89,659. So we round up to 100,000, because it's over 50,000, which is the midpoint, kind of. And B, 751,447. We round it up to 800,000, because it's over 750,000. And C, we round this down to 600,000 because it's under 650,000, which is the midpoint. And D, let's round it down to 800,000 because it's not over the midpoint, it's under. All right, and E, 
explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when round to the nearest hundred thousand. Well, again, um, one number, so this time one number rounded up and one number rounded down. So one it up to 800,000 and one rounded down to 800,000. So they both got 800,000 at the end. So it's another number, uh, another number um, we could do, let's see. If we wanna round it up, it has to be greater than 750,000 to round up. But we wanna round it down, has to be less than 850,000. So let's do 830,999. So this number will round down to 800,000. So yeah. All right, next page. Number four. Solve the following problems using pictures, numbers, or words. Uh, President Obama's Right. Inauguration, I want to say that's how I pronounce it, but I'm not sure. In 2013, the newspaper headlines say there were about 800,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounds to the nearest 100,000, what is the largest number and smallest number of people who could have been there? All right, so let's make a number line. And so this time we put 700,000. In the middle, we put 800,000. And up here, we put 900,000. So in order for it to round, when it's between these two numbers, in order for it to round up to 800,000, um, we need it to pass the midpoint, which is 750,000. So if it's 750,000 or bigger, then it would round up to 800,000. So that means the smallest number could ha have been so smallest number would have been 750,000 and now for between 800,000 and 900,000 if we want to round down 800,000 um the midpoint is 850,000 so it would have to be lower than 850,000 to be able to round down so that would be 800 49,999. Yeah. So that the um, largest would be this number. Go right again here. So that is, this is our answer. All right, and B, at President Bush's inauguration in 2005, the newspaper headlines did there were about 400,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest 10,000, what is the largest? What is the largest number and smallest number of people who could have been there? All right, so 400,000. Let's make good. So they rounded to the nearest 10,000. So, okay, so if we round to the nearest 10,000, number below would have been 400, 400, oh, wait, 490,000, and, and then that, did I say, no, 390,000, and then 400,000, and that'd be 410,000. So if we have 300, Did I write 390,000? 390,000, and we round, and we want it to round up to 400,000. Um, we would need our, we would need this number to be greater than five. So our midpoint will be 395,000. So if, the, if we got 395,000, then we would be able to round up so 400,000, so this is the smallest number. Three 
295,000. But then if we want to round down to 400,000, Four hundred five thousand. We need under that, so we need four hundred four thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So this would be our largest answer. So this would be our answer. And number and C. At President Lincoln's inauguration in eighteen sixty one, the newspaper headline stated there were about thirty thousand people in attendance. If the newspaper ran to the nearest thousand, what is the largest number and smallest number of people who could have been there? So 30,000, they ran to the smallest thousand. So we have 29,000, 30,000, and 31,000. So 29,000, in order to round up to 30,000, we need at least 29,500. So our smallest number would be 29,500. And if order to round down, then we would need smaller than 30,500. So we need 30,499. So that would be our largest number we could have gotten. And so this would be our answer. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!